Hello, it's Professor Carol Sikora here, talking about how we're going to get out of this mess. We're seeing now the peak of the incidence figures. Next weekend, we'll see the peak of the healthcare demand on our NHS, but that will pass. The incidence figures are on a plateau. They're bouncing around, but they will go down within the next few days. The death rate, sadly, will increase now because there's a lag between when people get the infection and when people have complications that could lead to their demise. So, uh, and the interval is about five to ten days. After that, we've seriously got to think about how we're going to get out of this. We've got to find a door because otherwise the economy is going to be completely blown. So my suggestion would be, let's look at the 27th of April, if all goes well with the figures, and let's start getting young people out, let families meet up, still keep the vulnerable and the elderly in semi-protection for their own good. Then by 4th of May, let's open the schools, let's get people moving again, get small businesses going, shops all open. By the 18th of May, open all offices, full public transport, open the universities, let's get back to normal. Monitoring all the time what's going on. Then by June the 1st, these are all Mondays I'm talking about, we have full openness, international travel now possible. A lot of other countries will have done the same. We're behind Austria and we're behind Norway in liberating the population. Sweden never, never put people on lockdown. We've got to get out of this. That would be my ambitious timetable. And the important thing is to monitor what's going on and to test people to see if they're immune from the virus. A lot of us have had minor symptoms. We put it down to the common cold, but I'm sure some of these people have actually had coronavirus of exactly this type. We've got to identify them and let them liberate them immediately from any social restriction. I think if we don't do that, the economy is just going to be completely blasted. And I feel so sorry for small businesses, small shops. They just won't be able to recover from this. So it's really important we have a, a way out, an exit door, an exit strategy.